Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it is challenge day. So we've got Marguerite Miller, we've got Little Bits of Lace, we've got Roxy's Weekly Challenge, just all sorts of stuff. So we're going to start, as usual, with Marguerite. And um, let's see, the first thing I'm going to lay down is this title page from a hymnal. Uh, the title of a book on your bookshelf was the prompt, and um, this is this sits right behind me, so that the oh goodness, it's not it's not working, so that I can grab music paper super easy. Wow. Okay. Well, here's a difficulty for you. Oh, there we go, kinda. There we go, now it's happy. Sorry about that. Should probably check that beforehand because I didn't do any crafting yesterday. So, yeah, this hymnal is from 1953. The copyright's right there. It says 1953. Um, I got a couple of those at a vintage sale. They were $2 each. <laughs> I was like, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. So there is that. Let's see. Um, then let's see. We've got, oh, we've got a ticket, which I haven't grabbed. But let me just, I'll just grab these. Okay. Uh, a ticket. Boo-boo. Accessory you wear. I have a watch. Vegetable plant or part of it. Here's some vegetables. Something related to coffee. I have this pumpkin spice flavoring and this little cup. And then lace. So what I'm thinking is I think I'll put, I don't know exactly where I'm putting things, but let's just... I don't know. Maybe something like that. And then I've got lace because that was the bonus thing. So I was thinking of putting some lace there. I don't know. I could put some lace there. I could put that on top, couldn't I? Okay, I think I'm going to put down the vegetables first. Oh, and then I have this, too. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm just going for it. Because, you know, we got a lot of challenges to do today. <laughs> Gotta get going. Oh, so, as usual, I'm I'm filming this. I had, well, today's Monday. Usually I do it on Sunday, but you know, yesterday I just felt like I need a little day off. So I took it, I just took it. I still did a bunch of stuff, but uh, mostly prep. So I found all this stuff. Took me forever to find all this stuff. Okay. Um. I mean, that's just so in a row, it bugs me. Okay, so maybe we go like that. And then this, I'm actually thinking. I was thinking this would go under there, but I already glued it down. So, could I go under here? Ish. And then that. Okay. And then we're just going to put the lace on top somewhere. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, yesterday I spent the day prepping for this video and for Mixed Media Monday video. And so that's what I did yesterday. We had... Um, you know, our grandson was in the state wrestling tournament at in Denver, and um, 
he did he did so good but he won his first three matches lost his last two so he did not place but i felt like he did such a good job yeah i'm gonna just kind of set that up there i guess put that there plop a lace there i suppose i don't know I don't know, this one kind of confounded me. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens with the old Marguerite Miller. There's too many long things. That's that's what's bugging me. There's too many long up and down things. But that's how it turned out. With what I could find, you know, it's... It's a challenge, that's for sure. That's why she calls it a collage challenge. I think I'm going to put this down some. Like that. Okay, and then you can still read the prompts. And then put that right about there. I, I, I don't know. I don't think this is going to be one of my favorites. Just saying. Don't think so. Okay, then I better use a little fabric tack on the lace, I'm thinking. This is going to chunk up my book pretty well, isn't it? Okay, put that there. That there. I think I need a little something over there. I think I might have to use washi tape on this one to kind of balance it out. It's it's not making me happy. But I think my other two challenges are gonna make me happy. <laughs> If that counts for anything. Okay. Okay, let's try and pull it together with some washi. Let's see. Um, a lot of green, a lot of green happening. Let's, let's go with this one. We'll hope it's old, so we'll hope it's going to come off okay. <clears throat> Getting it started is the tricky part, isn't it? Yeah, so anyway, I know my grandson was disappointed probably, but I just thought he did such a great job. And I think after two surgeries, not wrestling at all last year, I think he should be really proud of himself. I'm proud of his of his grit and his determination. That's pretty amazing. Okay. I'm liking that. Um, maybe a little piece right there. And something more at the bottom maybe nope okay okay I'm going to put five on this one because this needs something Right there. So I'm still going to go um, odd number, but so put that there and then I'll put a little one down here and we'll be good. There were just too many empty spaces. It was bugging me. Okay, there we go. I don't mind it now that it's done. Okay. Marguerite Miller finished. Get rid of the washi and 
fold it up and then we'll get on to, so there's this week. Okay, on to little bits of weight. Oh, I forgot to say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Patty, Twyla Sue, Darla, and Marlo. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Gosh, I just got clicking, didn't I? Without, without the high and hugs, we can't have that. Okay, I have my sewing machine over here because we're gonna need that. And the next thing we're gonna need is I've got some papers and I've got some lace. Let's, I'm gonna set the lace up here for the moment. I have a variety of music papers. These are digitals on coffee dyed paper. Um, this one, and this one was um, sprayed. So, but they're about the right size. So here is, here is the idea. I think we'll use the black lace on this one. So first of all, I'm gonna measure and make sure, yep, it's a le little less than eight and a half. And it's a little more than 11, not, not much more though. So this is going to be the middle si page of a signature. And I am going to take some lace, this pretty black lace goes that way. And we are going to cut it here, the width of the width of our piece of music paper. Okay, so we're done with that one. I got different colors because I thought let's make let's make a few. So now all I'm going to do is I am going to sew this on each end, and then when you fold it and put it into a signature, the this part will be held and it will be a belly band on each side. So that's that is the idea, folks. Okay, shoe is off at the ready to sew. And I'm just gonna do a, um, just a regular straight stitch. I've got white thread in there, but that's okay. I'm gonna back stitch a little bit. Making it strong on that end. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue, you know, use your Fabri-Tac and just glue it down. That's fine too. Okay. And then we're gonna turn it and sew it. Easy as that, but it really makes, I think it really makes a pretty middle page. I'll show you in just a second. We'll get her sewn first. Okay. I don't know if there could be an easier project than this. I used to do this all the time. I haven't done it in a while. Which is the great thing about challenges. It kind of makes you stop and go, okay. What did I, what have I done in the past? So there we go there. And then we're just going to fold it like so. Just um, match up the edges. And so like, say this is a page in your journal. So you have that page, you open it up. And this is the middle. And you can put a tag down in there. So there you go. That's the idea. Now this, because it's in the middle, it will be, um, it will be sewn with the signature because the middle, the middle stitch of sewing in the signature will be right there. So, so there you go. That's the idea. It's not at all complicated. I think it's a, it's one everyone can do. So there's one. We'll put that aside and we'll do the next one. 
So I got this. Um, this is a little thinner. Oh, I wanted to say with this, you know, you don't have to have pretty colored lace or anything. Just use Hobby Lobby lace, which is what this is, or whatever lace you know, that you get at Joann's or wherever. I'm gonna keep that little piece. I know it sounds crazy, but I've got another, got another week of little bits of lace that I can use it on. I'm so happy too, to be doing the little bits of lace challenge because it's making me use my lace every, every little bit. So there's that one. Make sure I have the right side out. I do. Okay. And we're just going to give that a stitch. I don't know why I keep putting my shoe back on. I'm going to need it in a second. Okay. Okay. And here we go. Rings in there and so then these pages will just go in my pre-made pages box and we can pull them out whenever it seems like a seems like a good one to do now this paper is fairly um, old and so it's a little rippy so you can always glue on the back here or something like that to strengthen it. The other thing you can do is not go back and forth, but tie your strings. So there's, there's options for making sure it doesn't come out. Okay. This one's very subtle because it's kind of white on white, but I like it. All right, and then once again, we just fold it over like so. And there's our middle. Put some tags or a tall journal card in there, and you've got it. Okay, let's do one of these, the digital. See, it's just coffee dyed paper and it's got music on it. You could do a text page too. You don't have to do music if you don't want to. Just whatever you want to. Ooh, I like the blue on there. That's real nice. So I think I have the wrong side up, so I need to fix that. is how it's going to go. Okay. Now, let me not, on this one, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to backstitch. I'm just going to zip down it and I'll show you what I was talking about on this one. Okay, so leave yourself a little room to work with and then just take your two your two pieces of thread and tie them in a double knot. Like so. And that will keep it from unraveling. You can leave the strings if you like that look or you can cut them off. I'm I'm in cut mode today even though I do like I do like left strings. I did leave strings on the Alice journal, didn't I? Okay, that one. I'll just backstitch on this one so that... So I don't take time tying knots, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, so here's this one. I really like this one too. Okay, and so then we're just gonna fold this over, meet up the edges.
like so. There it is. So just like that, we've already got three of them. Let's do, let's do this old piece. And let's do this. I thought this was fun lace. I haven't used it. I just haven't thought about, I mean, it would be great as a pocket. Um, it would be great as a pocket in the inside of a journal cover too, wouldn't it? Okay. Ooh, that's very pretty. Okay. There's that one. Let's stitch it. I had the presence of mind, which is unusual for me, to... Um, this one I'm going to tie because it's real old paper. Um, I had the presence of mind to check my um, my bobbin because <laughs> I easily could have run out of run out of bobbin. I would have for sure. So I I surprised myself by being prepared. Okay, that one wants to bump up a little where it was folded. So I'm just going to... And then if your lace is uneven on the edge of the page, then just cut it off after you sew it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to tie this one. Yep. I'll tie it off camera, but isn't that fun? Okay, so... There it is. I'm, on this, I'm going to need to put washi down the spine. It's cracking a little bit. It's just really old, really old paper. Okay, so there's that one. Now, I'll do one more, okay? The one more, I wanted to use this. I'm not going to do that one. I wanted to use this white. I thought that was so pretty. Yeah, and it looks great against the coffee dye. So cool. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and let's stitch it. So as you can see, you can make up a bunch of these when you've got, you know, lace you wanna use and then just have them in your box and ready to go. I'm going to tie these two, but let's get it sewn on there. That one might need a little trim too. Oop. Come on. Why are you being like that? Don't be like that. Don't do me like that. Okay, there you go. There's the idea for Little Bits of Lace 2024. Just a fun, fun little project. Okay, I'm going to get my sewing machine out of the way. And we're off to Roxy's Creations. Okay, so... I made a bunch of these up, but we're gonna make make a couple from scratch just so um, just so you see the process in case you didn't see Rachel's. Got a couple of book pages here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take off the bottom. Don't need all that white space. So we'll do that on both of them. Okay, and then we're gonna fold them over. I'm trying to leave a little bit of text over there too. Like so. Making it kind of a tag shape. So this is about, not quite three and a half, but I'm just eyeballing it. I just knew I wanted a little bit of text on this side. 
So there we go. Did that. Next, we are going to grab our glue book and a glue stick. And we're going to glue down these flappy things. So very fun project. And I think the results of it are really pretty. So, um, so I have made already, I think I made five or six of them and we'll decorate them today. Um, now this is hanging over a little bit because I folded it wonky. Just trim it off. No biggie. No biggie deal. Okay. So we'll get those flappies down and then we are going to do the Put writing paper on the back. But yeah, I wanted to I wanted to leave time to decorate them all. So if I can, we'll see. Okay, so then we're gonna put writing paper on the back. So I have a digital here that I might use, and I'm gonna leave the leave some some of the um, pretty writing. I don't know if Rachel did that or not, but I kind of liked seeing a bit of the writing. So there's that one. Let's just, I'm just going to tear off the excess here. Okay, and we'll put that on. Get a clean piece so that this book is bad for sticking to whatever you're gluing. I'll just set that aside and use it later. But um, yeah, it sticks, and then the book page comes up on your on your nice clean piece of paper. Can't have that. Okay. So now I'm just going to put that at the top. And down like so. Okay, so there's kind of our base. Once again, I got that a little long. I'm just going to trim it off. Boom. Okay, and then I don't know. I might not. I might not want that. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to leave it the way it is. These are about seven and a half. Okay, and then I have a piece of old book page that we'll use on the other one just for something different. No, nope, not the book page. It's coffee dyed paper. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's too short that way. So, yeah. I made the bases for these, um, for the ones that I have finished already. I made those bases while watching TV yesterday, and it was a great little thing to do whilst I was watching TV. We watched a good movie last night. Um, the Catcher Was a Spy on Netflix. Mike liked it because it was World War II based. I liked it because it was a true story. So it kind of checked all the boxes. <laughs> it was good. Okay. This is going to go right there. Okay. So there's the base of that one. Okay, now um, you're going to put on kind of a, a base for the a base for the tag. Like I've got these from um, Shabby Dabby Doodah and I used one of those on on one that I made already. Let me show you. Like so. So, that was kind of that was kind of fun. Um, there's that. I have this that 
we could just cut off the bottom and kind of use use that. I might put the Montana there and then wrap that part around. Um, <clears throat> and I found this piece of old paper that I thought might be nice too. I'd probably go this way with it though. I think I'm gonna use that on one of them. <clears throat> Ooh, I like, oh yeah, it's got it on both. That's a great piece of paper. Look at me using it with not a care in the world, like, you know. So, and then we'll we'll wrap it around the back. Okay, that's what we're gonna do with this one. Ooh, this rag paper stuff really chews up the old glue stick. Well, Donna, <laughs> we'll be changing out before we know it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave a little of the writing at the bottom. Okay, and I'm just going to flip that around. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one, what do we want? This is a little taller. I got this too. So I could like take off the bottom of that. Let's do that. Yeah, these are, um, and then there's full page ones too. That's from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Okay, I think I'm going to, where's my ruler? Just gonna take off the bottom of this. Have ourselves a little scrap. Now this, I think it blends in too much. These are two different colors, and there's a frame around that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a frame, if you will. All the way and these are kind of fun because the you know there's wonky like kind of like torn edges and stuff so that's kind of fun too okay so I want most this flower on the back side we'll just let's just get her get her glued up and go from there so again a pretty quick project the decorating is going to take the most time, and that's what I wanted to save to do with you guys today. Yep, I'm going to go that far and then flip this over. Preferably right along the edge of the tag. Okay, so it uses up a little of your writing, but it's decorative and pretty. Okay, so next thing, going to make it into a tag shape. Then, because I'm me, I'm going to distress the edges. And we won't be and we won't be quite done. We'll be almost done. We won't be quite done. So let's get this. Ooh, that's pretty distressed, that old paper. I was thinking those flowered ones like this, they might go nice in Nana's journal. So I'm I'm um I'm filming this on on Monday. Thursday I go to my retreat. So I'm filmed ahead. I have a couple more to do in order to cover the whole time I'm gone, but almost there, almost there. Okay, so there's that one. And then 
this one. Oh, you know what I did is I did snip off the bottoms just a skosh here. That other one I'll just leave, but I do kind of like a little a little clip there. Rachel herself's the one that got me going on that. I love the cross pollination that happens. <laughs> I've had a lot of cross-pollination lately. I, you know, sometimes I have to, I mean, I don't have a lot of time to watch videos anyway, but I sometimes have to limit myself because I get so many ideas, I can't do them all. Okay, so there's those. Here's the ones that I did ahead. So I did this one. I did this one with a little receipt. This one with just a digital. This one has a receipt. This one had this, I, it was a piece of ephemera and it doesn't wrap around. Here's another receipt. So those are the ones that I did. So the next thing we do is give it a little, um, give it a little hole at the top. So, I probably should empty that. Oh, yeah. Nice and full. <laughs> It'll be full again when I get done. Okay, so this, um, this punch is We Are Memory Keepers. It's called a Euro Punch. I don't know if I have it on my favorite things. I'll have to see if my son can do that for me. It might be there, I, I just don't remember. If so, it's under tools, and I, I don't think it's there, but. So just gonna do them all. And I, I like doing them at this point before I decorate because it gives me perspective of where I wanna put things. And so I don't like put a label up, up there close to the punch. Now I like to go back and give it a little, give it a little something, something here. See, I just think that looks better than a clean, I don't know, to each their own. You do you and I will do me. How's that? I'm excited that Rachel did tags this time because I do, I am a little low on tags, a little low. So, on decorated tags, I should say. So we're gonna, we're gonna decorate these next. That's next up, but it's a fun little project and a fun way to use your cool book pages, which I'm doing my best to use and not hoard once again, because that's that's my mission in 2024 is to use my stuff and not not be hoarding it. That it is hardest on things that you feel like, hmm, I probably won't be able to find that again or whatever. Okay, so we have two, four, six, eight tags here. Um, let's grab flowers, birds, butterflies, that sort of thing. Um, who needs this thing of flowers? Birds and butterflies. Um, yeah, and then labels, whose other labels might I like? Well, I might use some of Sabby Dabby Doodah, um, might use some of her labels, and I might use Carol Cuts too. Okay. Okay, 
let's just let's just see where we get to. Let me move a few things out of my way. Now I'm not going to sew around these, but they could be sewn around too. That's another, you know, another option if you wanted. Alrighty then. Let's let's play. So how are we doing time wise? Oh good. We've got well, 20 minutes. That's not as much as I'd like. <laughs> okay, let's look at these flowers. I knew I had a couple couple of big ones in here. This one's... Ooh, I like that on there. Okay, well, that, that was easy. And then... Let's see. What kind of label would we like this one kind of goes nope I don't I don't think so okay what else we got what other options I've got labels here from shabby dabby Buddha too um, oh there's a pink one now, what Rachel did is she wrapped them around, which I might go like that on that one. I do like that. All right, cool. Um, bear with me because, you know, I ink. I'm going to put these over here, and we'll just grab them one by one and get them decorated. Yep, just, I just have to. I have to, people. I have to. This one's just going to go kind of around the edges here. Outline it a bit. Okay. Now it's going to go kind of down there somewhere. Yeah, it's going to be awesome to have these tags at the ready, I think. Okay. I'm putting that right down at the bottom of the receipt so it looks like it's sitting on something. Okay, and then this, I think I want about right there. I wasn't thrilled with the chicken. I mean, it'd be great for a a farm journal, but I don't have one of those on my on my radar for any time soon. So we'll just cover him up with a little label. Okay, and there's one done. Except for putting something up, you know, some ribbon or something at the top. I'm going to put that under my mat because it's bendy. Okay, we've got this one, which is very, just very plain. There he is. There he is, people. <laughs> Somebody said, would you take him out of, your, out of your stuff? And I'm like, I don't want to because he makes me laugh every time with this snake in his mouth. I think these might be too big for the birds that I have, to be honest. Mm, I might have an owl. That would be big enough. Kind of the whole perspective, you know, of these things. I'm going to throw the birds back in. I don't think they're going to work. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at this big guy. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I love that. Set that over there. Yes, I like it with the... It's just making a very neutral tag with the um, book page and then the digital with the writing. I don't know. I don't remember whose digital that was. I'd like to print that out again. I think that would be a good, useful one. I was just digging through my ephemera yesterday, just 
finding stuff that I thought would would work the way Rachel did this project. And so I didn't look at whose it was. Okay, I might have to cut off a little bit of his log. Oh man, he is awesome. Love it. Just going to cut off a little here. Okay. And, ooh, here's a label that would be awesome. I'm going to put this whole label on the front instead of wrapping it around on this one. Don't all have to be the same, do they? Okay. This is kaput. It's all bluey. Let's see if I can get a little more out of it. So there's that one. Love it. Okay. Under the match, go. I'll le try and leave enough time for us to look at look at these. Um, see tall wise this one's the next tallest I have another one of these flowers and it's very tall so I'm going to use that on there and then we'll find a, a label of some sort there. The color of this rose is exactly the color of that marking right there. That's cool. Um, I could go like that and then that leaves these cool numbers. Yep. Yep. That's how that's going to be. Ooh, I'm loving these labels of Tina's. I just got them. Um, you guys probably already knew about them, but I just I just purchased them and got them printed out. I'm going to go right about there. And wrap that around. Oh, it looks cool on that side, too. Okay, and then we'll get our flower on. wonder, I might have a bunny that would go with these. I might, I might. Okay, there's that one. Mmm, loving that. Doesn't want to stick to that paper very badly, but okay, under you go. Let's see. Let me grab my bunnies. Where are, you? Where are you at, bunnies? I don't know if I have a tall enough one, but we'll see. These are all little. There's a tall bunny. Let's use him on one. Now we just have to see which one we like him on. Yeah, I like him there. I don't think this one even needs a label. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, I don't remember whose bunny this is. Um, but... Just go on Etsy and search digital bunnies and a bunch of stuff will come up. Um, hopefully this one. Some of this stuff I just have by subject rather than by creator.
Okay. I'm looking and wondering if a little tiny label. Okay, I obviously like this one. Keep grabbing it. I think I want a more square one. That's too big. No, no, no. I need to I need to reprint. Oh, let's use a butterfly. Um, I need to reprint Carol's Carol Cuts designs. Her um her labels need reprinting. Yes. Okay, that one doesn't even need any, because <laughs> Carol cut it out. I didn't, that's why it doesn't <laughs> need any distressing. Okay, there's that little bunny one. Cool. How we doing? Oh, 10 minutes, what? I really wanna finish all of these. Now, these are going to be tricky because they've got already the flower down there. Um, maybe. Do we just want a big label and that's it? Or what do we want? We I don't know. Too big. Okay. See what else we've got in here. Ooh, I do kind of like that. Okay, that'll work. Instead of lamenting, I only have 10 minutes. Get going, Gail. <laughs> I do like that. It kind of balances that tag a bit. Okay, it's just flowers. It can go in any journal pretty much. Okay, and then we do have another one like that. However, the flowers up here, that makes it a little easier. Maybe could put, this one's the right color. What do you think? kind of like it. I'm going to go with it. That's one thing when you're hurrying a bit to get a video in, you don't, you know, go back and forth of what to use as much because <laughs> you're just getting her done. I really wanted to get all of these done. So if we go a little long, we go a little long. How's that? How's that for being, as my mom would say, mouthy? <laughs> Can you imagine that I was mouthy? Yeah. I had my moments. I had my moments of mouthiness. <laughs> Especially in the fifth grade. I don't know what happened to me in the fifth grade, but... I was definitely, um, what would you say? I was definitely testing authority or whatever you would say. I don't know. No, I, maybe Carol cuts on this one. Okay. Yeah, we got in trouble a lot in the fifth grade for talking back or being mouthy. <laughs> it's been rather entertaining to watch my, especially my daughters, go through the stage with their girls of, you know, them not 
complying immediately, let's say. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, we have these two left. I don't know if yellow would be too much yellow. It feels too much to me. Too much yellow. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling... I don't know if I have another owl. Oh, there's some pretty flowers. That's pretty. Come here, you. Hmm, I do like the owls. Okay. And I think this pink flower would go lovely right there. I think I want a label behind that. So, take one of these. And if I go clear to the edge. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, Mr. Owl, what would you like? Too dark. Don't want pink. This might be okay once it's distressed. Yeah. Okay. By George, I think we're getting there, guys. Need some more ink. You're going to go right here, and you need a little edge, too. So tell me, my friends, did you go through a little um, asserting your independence stage, or did you just always do what Mama said? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I came out the other side and was nice. <laughs> that's, that's some good parenting there. Good job, Mom and Dad. <laughs> oh, I'm excited we get to see... My oldest daughter tomorrow, I haven't seen her forever because the stupid weather wouldn't let us go to basketball. Um, we're going to pick up Alfie. We get Alfie for four days, five days, because um, our girls, Addie and Katie, have a volleyball tournament in Atlanta. So we get the puppy. While they go do that, which will be fun. That's, I might need some washi down that or something. I'll decide. I'll decide once I am going to use it. Okay. Last one. Guess what? We're not going to have extra to go in the to-do box. Now, I didn't do a Christmas one because I don't have, at the moment, my... Christmas ephemera handy, you know, in order to decorate it. So I just didn't do a Christmas one of this project, but okay. Now, how do I want that? I think I'm going to put that right there. Yeah. Ah, see, that's where I'm talking about. It pulls up the page. So annoying. So we're getting rid of you. Okay. I 
Again, I might want some washi across there or something. But for now, I think it's good. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, we are almost out of time, but you know what? I think we made it. So let's do, let's throw these over and do a little recap of stuff. Okay. We'll go backwards. <laughs> so here are our tags from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And I love them. They're really fun. And they're, they're a real nice weight, if that makes sense. Having backed them, they, they make them a little stronger. Love that one. I love them all, really. I really do. Okay. So there's our tags. Here are our pages. with little bits of lace. <laughs> if you find this is too loose, I just run a little bead of um, Fabri-Tac there if, if you think you need it. So there's those. I'll leave that one as an example. Let's see, oh yeah, and then here's our collage. And there's our collage. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.